So the next mod on our list is Tekkit. Uh, I believe it's Tekkit Lite, actually, but do not quote me on that. I don't know why it's doing that. It says it's being used by another process. It's very strange. It's like Java is running twice. Let me kill that real quickly and see if that resolves the issue. There we go. If not, then oh well. Hey, what do you know? I'm a genius. Alright, so the, yeah, the very next mod is Tekkit Lite. And as you can see, the newest version is, in fact, 0.5.1. So I'm going to go ahead and log into that. And, uh, wow. Okay. It might help if I actually put in my login credentials correctly. Now all we have to do is cross our fingers that this launches. Come on now. Alright, well, while I wait for that to launch, I'm going to go ahead and show you what you need to get. Uh, sure, I'll just run in offline mode if I need to. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you what you need to get for Tekkit Lite. Uh, is that the wrong tab? I believe it is. Yes, it is. Okay, so there we go. So now you just want to go back to the same website again, and you want to go to Tekkit Lite Latest. And then go ahead and minimize this because this is kind of in the way. And then basically they don't have a 64x version available yet and neither is the 32 which is why I recommended 128x. Uh, so go ahead and download that. And while that downloads I'll go ahead and show you some of the new features in Tekkit Lite. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, switch to full screen as soon as this is done downloading and I have the texture pack patched in. But while we wait, you can see, here's all the mods. There is a whopping 61 mods. All right, there we go. So let's go ahead and go to the containing folder. All I have to do now is open with 7-zip. And then I just want to open Tekkit Lite with 7-zip. And then it's as easy as dragging from here to here, saying yes, closing both of these, and then all I have to do is the same process again, texture packs, open texture pack folder, and then drag and drop Tekkit Lite into here. Now that that's there, all I gotta do is click on that and wait for the texture pack to load. And while I wait for that to run, let's see how... <laughs> that amuses me greatly. It's like, oh, your performance is low, I'm gonna turn off arrow, but in all reality, not really low at all. Greatly amuses me. There we go. That indeed greatly amuses me. However, for some odd reason, the uh, fonts are not working. I have a feeling, yes, it does have to do with Optifine. Apparently, Optifine is no longer included, which feels really weird. Let's see if I can connect. No, I can't because I'm a uh, single player, but anywho. So I'm going to go ahead and create a world in Tekkit Lite uh, Creative New World. All right, I'm back, and uh, I was talking and talking and talking, and then I realized I wasn't recording like an absolute idiot. Uh, but anywho, um, so you can see you have the lovely Sfax uh, 128X on the new ver newest version of Tekkit Lite. And uh, basically, just a quick rundown of all the mods within it. Uh, I can give you a quick run-through. And that is you know, your normal core mods, like uh, Industrial Craft, Equivalent Exchange, and then Factorization is a cool addition. So is Logistics Pipes, which is really, really awesome. Red Power Lighting, which comes with the newest version of Red Power. And then you have Steve's Carts Modules, Steve's Carts Items, Thermal Expansion, Mistcraft, Computer Craft, and then all the other Red Power items. Including all those items released in version Red Power 2 pre-release 6. So you can see the majority of all the items are indeed textured. Like, see, here's a steel sword, which is pretty dang awesome. And then you've got also all of your uh, things, but like, 
like very very specialty items like diamond lens and these uh, logistics pipes are not currently textured but I have a feeling that we can be looking out for textures uh, here very soon as well as the mine factory reloaded is not textured however things like furnace heaters are most certainly textured and those are factorization items also we have barrels which is are really really awesome if you have not yet seen barrels barrel right click items yeah so anywho I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the next uh, mod pack which is probably volts I believe so I'm gonna go ahead and get into that one as far as installing the texture pack so I will be right back <laughs> 